So I bought a $20 Switch Pro controller from China to see if it might work, and it's broken. That was pretty solid. Back in June, I was searching AliExpress and I came across a knockoff Switch Pro controller. Now, obviously I wasn't expecting much and it did take more than two months to finally get here. But when I opened it, I was actually really surprised. And I figured I'd let you guys know. Yo guys, it's Luke and this is a $20 Switch Pro controller from AliExpress. <laughs> Yo guys, this is Luke and this is a $20 knockoff Pro controller from AliExpress. So right on the box, things start to look a little bit weird. You can clearly see that China has made an attempt to copy the marketing from the original Switch Pro controller box, but there are still a fair amount of mistakes. So in terms of box quality, I give this attempt a D. Now inside the box is just the controller and a USB-C charger, which unfortunately is really too small to realistically use, but thankfully I have a bunch of USB-C chargers laying around, so it's not that big of a deal. Now that said, the build quality of the actual controller feels really good. In fact, in order to see how well it stacked up to the actual thing, I went out and bought a first party Switch Pro controller. And to be honest, the knockoff feels amazing. The buttons are tactile and tight, and the thumbsticks are snappy and accurate. Now I went with the Super Smash Brothers design, which looks amazing, and the rubber and matte finish on this controller also feels great. So with this in mind, my first thought was, did I just score a $70 controller for 20 bucks? So I ran to my Switch, connected the controller, which was immediately recognized as a Pro controller, and boom, I was connected. However, as soon as I launched Super Mario Bros U Deluxe, I noticed a very big issue. Input lag. Yes, unfortunately, I got what I paid for as this controller has some of the worst input lag that I've ever seen. Mario jumps a solid one to two seconds after pressing the A button, which as I'm sure you can see, makes for some pretty difficult platforming. Hey, editing Luke here. So after testing the controller with multiple displays, I actually ended up realizing that while yes, there is a significant latency between the controller and my TV, that was in part due to my TV not being in game mode. This explains the input latency. However, the wireless transmitter is still weaker on this controller than the official Nintendo controllers, which is why I didn't notice latency in the first place. All this to say, if you use this controller with a low latency device, it actually works pretty well. Just keep in mind it won't work as well as a first party controller. Also, this doesn't really change my conclusion for this video either, so I just wanted to put this out there. But this is not where the story ends. If you decide to use the controller wired, then this actually becomes a much more viable option. The latency to my eye 100% disappears. So after doing this, I tried doing some research and it basically looks like these controllers are probably produced in the same factory in China, but don't get much if any of the official quality control checks as the licensed Nintendo controller. So in the case of my unit, it looks like there's a really weak wireless transmitter in the controller, which would explain the terrible latency. However, this is where it becomes a little bit more interesting again. Several others online have reported having success with the controller and experienced no latency issues, which leads me back to the original quality control point. In fact, some users have had so much success that they even bought a second one as well. So where does that leave us? Well, I think if you take into account the fact that the Pro Controller actually operates well in wired mode, then this actually becomes a far more appealing product. If we compare the AliExpress controller to the other wired controllers on the market, you will see that it stacks up pretty well. In fact, I might go so far as to say that the AliExpress model might actually be better than the build quality of the cheaper models. Now, of course, before all of you jump in the comments and say, hey, Luke, are you seriously recommending a knockoff controller? No, not really. What I am saying is that you might have luck with a Pro Controller from AliExpress, and if you're willing to wait two months, you could come away with a working controller, or at the very least, a decent wired controller. Besides, at the end of the day, if you decide that your Pro Controller doesn't work well, buy a used licensed Switch Pro Controller and swap the shell out with your AliExpress one, like I did here. For the price of a $20 shell, you might just get a decent controller with it. Now, if you guys are interested in buying something like this, I'll leave the links down in the description below. However, if you are looking for something officially licensed by Nintendo, then I would recommend checking out these other wired options, which I will also leave in the description below. So at the end of the day, the knockoff Pro Controller didn't really pan out the way I wanted. And while there are some small benefits to doing this, I don't really recommend doing it unless you really wanna test it yourself. Now that said, if you like to tinker with electronics, then getting a controller that might work for the price of a decent shell might be worth it for some. Either way, at $20, you've got some options.
Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you wanna see some more content like this, feel free to let me know down below. Also, I've been streaming on Twitch Monday and Wednesday nights. Feel free to give a follow. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you didn't, well, I think that other button works okay too. Also, feel free to give me a follow on Twitter as well. It's techno underscore minutes. But until next time, peace.